The stage is set for the Punjab polls on Sunday. Campaigning is over, but the knives are still out. As the state readies for its first multi cornered contest, allegations of poll code violations were flying fast and furiously. Asked to go before the polls, FIRs against Arvind Kejriwal, Subbir Badal and Charanjit Singh Channi for poll code violation. First, it was Chief Minister Channi caught campaigning after the 6 p.m. deadline. Then Arvind Kejriwal's objectionable videos targeting the opposition and now Subbir Singh Badal posting a video in the silent period. Also seen, a rare unity between the Congress and BJP. Chief Minister Charanjit Singh Channi wrote to Home Minister Amit Shah demanding a probe into charges levelled by former AAP member Kumar Vishwas against Arvind Kejriwal. Channi received a prompt response from Amit Shah. Arvind Kejriwal has responded by inaugurating smart schools in Delhi one day before the Punjab polls. मैं उन सबको आज कहना चाहता हूं कि जिनको आप लोग जिसको आप लोग आतंकवादी बोल रहे हो आज वो आतंकवादी देश को 12430 कमरे स्कूलों के समर्पित कर The specter of Khalistan long dead in the state all started again when Arvind Kejriwal who made the Delhi model his main campaign pitch suddenly started talking about the feeling of insecurity among Hindus at a meeting in Ludhiana Unhi ke saathi ne इनके चरित्र का जो वर्णन किया है इसको हर मतदाता ने हर देशवासी ने बड़ी गंभीरता से लेने की जरूरत है पंजाब के मेरे भाइयों और बहनों ये लोग पंजाब को तोड़ने का सपना पाले हुए हैं ये लोग सत्ता के लिए अलगाववादियों से भी हाथ मिलाने को तैयार है सत्ता पाने के लिए इन लोगों को अगर देश भी तोड़ना पड़े तो ये उसके लिए भी आप कहते हो उत्तर प्रदेश के भाइयों को घुसने नहीं दोगे तो क्या क्या आप संत रविदास जी को भी निकाल दोगे क्या संत रविदास जी के नाम को मिटा दोगे क्या भाषा बोलते हो तुम लोग A day later, Chief Minister Channi quoted controversy when he said the bhaiyas from Uttar Pradesh and Bihar shouldn't be allowed into Punjab. He later clarified, but some say it was too late with the Prime Minister already attacking the Congress. इसको गलत तरीके से पेश करना सही नहीं है। मैं फिर कह दूँ प्रवासी हमारे प्यारे हैं। हम भी देश में जाकर प्रवासी हैं। बहुत सारे पंजाबी बाकी देश में काम कर रहे हैं। Parties are evoking fear and suspicion. Will the three crore Punjabis voting tomorrow bite the bullet? That's the big question. With Mohammad Ghazali, NDTV Bureau Report. And let's go across to uh, my colleague Mohammad Ghazali, who's been uh, monitoring all the developments today and, of course, prepping for tomorrow. Ghazali, long day ahead for you. But uh, today seems to have just been a day where everybody, nobody has been spared. Uh, uh, poll violations uh, filed against uh, all of the big names on the campaign trail. And that certainly shows that how stakes are high for every party that despite this being a silent period that campaigning came to an end yesterday itself but parties went overboard they didn't go out in the field among the voters but social media was used by every party to sort of campaign or ask voters to vote now none of these complaints were suo moto cognizance taken by the election commissioner or the chief electoral officer of punjab rather it were rival parties which complained to the ceo of punjab and later an order was issued to file an fir beat against charanjit singh channi who uh, was uh, campaigning after the mandated period and he was booked for uh, campaigning in a constituency from where he doesn't belong. So becoming an outsider, he was campaigning after the pres prescribed time. So he was booked by the Mansa district police. Coming to Sukhbir Badal, Aam Admi Party had complained to the ele uh, to election commission that his social media was used to ask voters, appeal voters to vote for the party. So he was also booked for violation. And as well as uh, Akali Dal had also filed a complaint against Arvind Kejriwal because the party's Facebook page had shared a parody video calling the opposition leaders like Mr. Channi, Amrinder Singh and 
Sukhbir Badal as traitors. So every party chief or the, uh, they have been booked for violation of code and that certainly shows that how uh, desperate parties are or why the stakes are high for every party. More importantly, the entire poll campaign in Punjab for the last six months has started off on the issue of development. Is what It was Arvind Kejriwal who came to Punjab. The first major announcement was free power. Then later it moved to uh, soaps for women, uh, monetary uh, uh, sort of assistance to them, promising quality education in school. And suddenly after PM's security lapse incident in Firozpur, that entire dead issue of Khalistan, border state being sensitive, was the issue which was picked up by every party. It was Congress which kept saying that don't vote for Arvind Kejriwal because he had allegedly stayed at the house of an ex-militant back in 2017. So his party coming to power is threat for the peace and harmony of Punjab. Same allegation was leveled by BJP as well. That is exactly what Arvind Kejriwal is saying that both the parties have ganged up against his party. But even he is accused of creating that or setting that entire narrative of Hindu khatre mein hai when he passed that comment in Ludhiana that I met a businessman who came expressing his concern that he is under fear after the PM security lapse incident as well as the rising incidents of sacrilege. So every party, though they started off on a positive note promising soaps, promising quality education, infrastructure and all, but just a couple of days ahead of polls, all this entire narrative that which party is allegedly in the hands and glove with terror organizations, who is getting support from extremists and who is a security threat for Punjab. This is last border security and internal security issue was raised by every party. But at the end, now more than two crore Punjabi voters have to decide that which party raised their issues consistently and who will secure their future because Punjab is in a severe crisis as well as financial uh, mess is concerned, their financial condition, Punjab is under debt of more than 3 lakh crores. Unemployment, drug abuse, these two or three particular issues have been there in every election mm. for the last 10 and 15 years. Now, do really the Punjabis want a change or a badlao or will they uh, sort of try and test their own old leaders who have been in poll fray for decades? Well, tomorrow they'll have to ask themselves that question. Thanks. Ghazali for that.